Welcome back to our video series on creating tests on Scholar. This video will cover the fill in the blank question type. Now these are not necessarily just fill in the blank questions. You can also ask short answer questions where the answer is simple enough that a computer could grade it. You'll see what we're talking about right now. So we are here at our test canvas and you can create a fill in the blank question by going to create question and choosing fill in the blank. The first thing you see of course is question title. That is not important unless you're creating a large pool of questions and need an easy way to refer to the question. So we're going to start right with the question text. Now you don't have to make a fill in the blank question. You could just ask a question right here. Of course if you don't want to do that and you do want to do a fill in the blank question you can do that as well. You just type in the blank yourself. So we've got our question there. If you do need a question that supports multiple blanks, there's one called fill in multiple blanks, and we'll talk about that in another video. So we'll scroll down and you see the answers area here. You can actually put the correct answer there and Scholar will grade the test for you. So if you played video games in the 80s, you know this is Super Mario Brothers. So there's a couple different options here that we can do. We can make this case sensitive if you think it's important that they capitalize the word Mario. Maybe this had a different potential thing. You could do Super Mario and Luigi Brothers or something like that. So you could switch this to contains and as long as the word Mario is in there it's right. So if they typed Mario and Luigi, which of course is not a correct answer, that would still be okay as long as Mario appeared somewhere in the text. There's also a more advanced version of this called Pattern Match, which uses something called Regular Expressions to give you a lot more flexibility. We have an entire video on just that topic because it's a little more complicated than we can do in one of these short videos. For now, we're going to choose Exact Match. So we have a problem. There's actually another game that's Super Blank Brothers. It's called Super Smash Brothers. So we need to accept that answer as well. Not a problem. You can accept different things for a fill in the blank question. Just click the drop down and change the number of answers to the number of correct answers there could be. So it can be Super Mario Brothers or Super Smash Brothers. Either one is correct, although the student would only type one of these. We scroll down, and you can give feedback based on whether the response is correct or incorrect. So we can answer our question here, and if it's incorrect, we have that. Keep scrolling down, and you will see the categories and keywords, and the instructor notes. So the categories and keywords is for if you have that larger pool of questions. Again, it helps you categorize the questions. The instructor notes are what you'd leave if we had multiple instructors grading these tests, but neither of those are the case. So when you're all done, you have two options. If you're going to create a bunch of these questions, you could click Submit and Create Another, and it would pop you back up to the top of the menu ready to create a new one. If you're done creating this type of question, just click Submit, which is what we're going to do, and you'll be taken back to the test canvas and can find your question. That's all for creating fill-in-the-blank questions. If you want information on other question types or how to set your test up for students, we'll cover those in other videos. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact ITS.